And out to Nigeria, the tension between Ukraine and Russia is heightening, with the Ukrainian capital Kiev under intense attack from Russian forces. The United States has warned that the capital may fall in a matter of days. Briefing journalists on the tense situation, Ukraine's president warned that his government will resist the unprovoked invasion by Russian forces. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the nation early on Friday morning, appealing to Russia for a ceasefire. Mr. Zelensky says 137 Ukrainian citizens, both soldiers and civilians, died on Thursday, adding that Russian strikes aimed at both military and civilian targets. The Ukrainian president also spoke to UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and pleaded with other Western allies to do more to stop Russia's assault. Meanwhile, sirens rang out in the western Ukrainian city of Lviv early on Friday. Satellite images collected on Thursday after Russia's invasion of Ukraine showed damage to fuel storage areas and airport infrastructure in the city of Chuiv. The images released by private U.S. company Magza Technologies are of an airfield at the city in eastern Ukraine. Other images show Russian military activity in Belarus near the Ukraine border and at several locations in Russia. In the meantime, the United Nations Refugee Agency says about 1,000 Ukrainians have been displaced, with thousands fleeing to nearby European states. According to a report, Ukrainian forces battled Russian invaders on three sides after Moscow unleashed the biggest attack on a European state since World War II, prompting tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. After Russian President Vladimir Putin declared war in a pre-dawn televised address, explosions and gunfire were heard throughout the day in Kiev, a city of three million people. In response, Western powers have continued to announce sweeping sanctions on Russia. The invasion brought a calamitous end to weeks of fruitless diplomatic efforts by Western leaders to avert a war. EU leaders have also agreed to impose massive sanctions on Russia in areas ranging from finance to transport. It was announced at a presser held in early hours of Friday. La voie diplomatique puisse l'emporter. Et je rappelle que sur la question ukrainienne, concerning fossil fuels from Russia is uh, that the instruments are being banned that are crucial to refine the oil. No chance anymore for Russia to refine oil and then send, uh, sell it. Our assessment as of this morning is that Russia has not taken any of its major objectives. In fact, it is behind its hoped for timetable. They've lost over 450 personnel. Uh, and indeed, as you've said on your report, one of the significant airports they were trying to capture with their elite Spetsnaz has failed to be taken, and in fact the Ukrainians have taken it back. Consequently, hundreds of Russians in Moscow have demonstrated against the war in Ukraine. The Russian authorities, however, have announced that they will crack down on any unauthorized demonstrations on their territory and outside Russia, Anti-war protests are also taking place in various cities around the world.